Mountain Dew. I love Mountain Dew. I just noticed I waved at the trailer that said Mountain Dew and not at the driver. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't even. Morning, everybody. We're, uh, where are we? We're in Appleton, Wisconsin. I have four drops today. I just got the first one done. It took, like I thought, less than five minutes. I rolled back the roll tight that's behind me. See it in my mirror there? It's blue to match the truck. Rolled it back. They took their piece off. They strapped down the rest of the load there. And now I'm off to Manitowoc, Wisconsin for my next delivery. Let's go. Starting to get busy back here. That's my cue to leave. we go. I'm going to get all four drops done today. I'm going to have to let the office know right away and all the load guys know that I'm going to be empty this afternoon so that they can start uh, fishing around for some new freight for me for tomorrow morning. And hopefully they can, uh, if they line it up today, that way I can run towards it tonight yet and be there in the morning. It's raining here. And look at this, they got practically no snow. Must be nice. It's four degrees Celsius outside. We're probably looking around uh, 38 to 40 Fahrenheit. For this Canadian, that is a nice sunny day, even if it is raining. This is how you know I'm not lying to you. We're in Wisconsin. Not even two minutes into the video. And there's a roundabout. And I took the wrong turn. I was supposed to go straight through that roundabout and turn right at the next roundabout. Shoot! We're leaving Appleton, Wisconsin. We're headed to Manitowoc. Uh, what was the next town again? Wawa, Wawa Tosuk or something? And the last one, we're ending off in Kenosha, Wisconsin. I've never actually been to Kenosha. I've heard a lot about it in the last couple of years. You think I'll you think I'll see Kyle? I have 
20 miles to my second drop in Manitowoc. Manitowoc is right on the river, it's straight north of Milwaukee and Chicago along the same coastline. So I think it's Lake Michigan that's just like right in front of us. Manitowoc is right on the lake, so about 20 miles straight ahead of us right now is, uh, is the Great Lake. figure out what town this is. I missed the sign, I guess, if there was one. White Law. Up on the water tower up there off to the left. This is the town of White Law, Wisconsin. Delivery's done. That's only nine o'clock. <clears throat> I was here early. My next delivery, I gotta be there for one o'clock. It looks like I'm gonna be there at 11. So I hope they got some time. Maybe they can unload me early. That means I'd be at my next, my last drop actually at one o'clock probably. Maybe, maybe even noon. Yeah, we're way ahead of schedule today. Today's a good day. Every day is a good day, but today's a good day. So you remember when I replaced this light because the marker light in there had broken off from like the motherboard behind there? Well, the same thing happened to this thing now on the other side. So luckily I have an extra one at the shop that I can replace it with. But for now I did the exact same thing as I did last time. I went on this side and cut the wires so that it just flashes and that I don't have one marker light working and one marker light out you can't have them uneven so if they're both gonna if one's gonna be off they're both gonna be off but they're still both flashing but the wire broke off from behind this led bar <sighs> so i'm gonna try to solder it see if i can save it i don't really like it that they didn't use stainless steel screws in here though like all the rest of them are don't rust but the ones in here always rust i have to replace those too just waiting to get unloaded and uh, I've got all my straps off and rolled up already. Got my freight in here. I'm just keeping it dry underneath the roll tight. Under the tarp, as soon as uh, they come out of that door right there, I'm gonna roll this back. They can take their freight off, and I'm gonna close it up. And we're gonna head out this way. I have a reload waiting for me in Bartlett, Illinois. It's LTL, so it's less than truckload. It's not a whole full load. We're going to fill up the rest of the trailer on the way back in Bemidji, Minnesota. So two pickups on this next load, both going back to uh, Manitoba. It's been a bada boom bada bada boom bada. Let's try that again. It's been a good day. Trailer is empty behind me. Just called my shipper that I was going to go load at tomorrow morning, the first one, down in Bartlett, Illinois. They're gonna load me today because I'm so far ahead of schedule. I'm gonna be there at 2.30. I was only supposed to be here at three o'clock. Mm. Trucker of the year? No, not quite. Maybe next time. 
That feels good. That feels good. Okay, so uh, it's about 65 miles from here. I'm gonna quickly run over there. Uh, it's on the west side of Chicago. Pick those two skids up and then I can get out of Chicago for night. That's, that's the whole reason. <laughs> get out of Chicago for the night and be up near Bemidji, Minnesota to load my second part of my load tomorrow morning. So then I will be back at the yard tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, which means I'm a day ahead of schedule this week. <laughs> oh, knock on wood, knock on wood all over the place. All the wood you can. Come on, knock on all the wood. I don't think there's any real wood in here. Huh? You know what? I got these stir sticks. This'll work. Yes. Okay. Everything's gonna go good now. I'm gonna make another coffee before I go. Chicago, you never cease to amaze me. It doesn't matter how many signs they put along the side of the road. Slower traffic keep right. It seems the slower traffic always keeps left. We are going on the I-90 West towards Rockford. I'm actually pretty close to my shipper now already. It's fantastic. I think I'm just picking up two skids. Like very, like very little. Not much at all. The majority of the load is up in Minnesota. Excuse me, heard me coming in. You see, yep, there we go. I am one of the few using their turn signals. I gotta get out of this lane. There we go, there we go. Everybody better have their headlights on. Otherwise I'm not gonna see you in my mirror. It's so strange that they haven't, like in the US, like for my Canadian friends, you know when you buy a car, when, any car in Canada, right? You, you put it in gear, the lights turn on, right? In the US, it doesn't do that. They can drive down the highway with their lights off blows my mind every time I see that. I'm like, how do you, wh why? <laughs> I thought all cars were made with running lights until like a few years ago and I realized, no. Uh, uh, in the US, you actually have to like turn your lights on for your headlights to come on. So on a day like today, if you're running with no headlights on in my mirror, I, I don't know you're there. No idea. But, no. Eh. It is the way they do it, right? If you're coming to the US for the first time, that's something to keep in mind. You wouldn't usually think of that, right? Unless someone mentions it. That's why I'm mentioning it. You gotta look twice, three times, four times, just in case someone's beside you without their headlights on. Especially in Chicago. The city is nuts. You think Toronto is bad for driving? <laughs> Toronto is like Chicago light. Though, I gotta say though, Toronto is set up a little bit worse. Toronto is, they had the one 401 going through, through the city and then they put a toll road up there that nobody uses on the 407. At least here in Chicago, there are more options, there are more freeways, which does free things up a little bit. So maybe it's not as bad as Toronto. Depends on the day, I guess. I don't know. I don't like going to Toronto. The only people who like Toronto are people from Toronto. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, you Tron, you Tron toners, you Tron Tonians. Is that what you call it, Tron Tonians, Tron boners? <laughs> I'm just bugging you. I'm just bugging you. But seriously, nobody outside Toronto really likes Toronto. But in all fairness, anyone inside Toronto doesn't even know there's a whole country outside of Toronto. So it goes, it goes both ways. It's okay. We live together. We'll make it work. That's it. That's the first part. Now we head up to Minnesota and we fill up the rest of it. This took only what, eight feet? So I have about 35 feet left on the trailer and I only needed 30. Did I do that math right? 53 minus eight. Hey, hey, me. No, 45. I have 45 feet left. 
My brain has been turned off. One second, let me reboot it. Got my brain reboot, 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 bit, bit. Maybe not. <coughs> Got my brain rebooted. It's just, it was just starting up there. I wasn't quite all the way finished. 53 feet trailer, right? 53 feet length, 53 foot trailer. Minus eight, 45. I have 45 feet of trailer space left. At least I should. And I only need 30 feet for uh, what I'm picking up in Minnesota. I think it's lumber. We will find out when we get there. Oh man, it's been raining all day. So weird, I, I left the snow back at home and here in like Milwaukee and Chicago, it's been raining. But the weather's been nice, the temperature has been really nice. Can't complain. I'll take the rain over the snow. I mean, I might just stay down here a little while. I don't know what my rush is to get home. Approaching destination in 300 meters on the right side. Destination on the right side, Flying J Travel Plaza. Black River Falls. This is where I'm going to call it a night. Fuel here, I believe fuel is $3.88 US per US gallon. We'll continue on from here in the morning. And that's it everybody. Edited the video. I'm all caught up on my vlogs finally. It feels good. I've got to go to bed and move all this stuff out of my way. Crawl under the blankets now and pass out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, double click the thumbs down. Make sure you hit it twice. And I'll see you tomorrow.